I heard the word of God growing up in church my whole life. And I never got saved. Amen. I mean, it, it happens all the time. How many people do you run into that go to all kinds of different churches out there that could be using the King James Bible? But they're not getting saved, are they? Do you run into these people? No, you need to explain to them the gospel. You need to help them to understand. And I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because, again, there's, there's so much in Scripture that teaches this fundamental truth. But it's important to get this nailed down so we understand why. And as we continue reading here, so look, Jesus Christ, it's the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. God raised him up, his resurrection, it's faith in his blood, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. Absolutely, the word of God is what we're putting our faith in. So we're trusting in. We're trusting in Jesus. Jesus is the word. We're trusting in him. We're trusting in, in, in what God has given us. Absolutely. But here's the thing is that, you know, there needs to be a preacher for people to hear the word of God. And even as we keep reading here, verse 24 says, For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man is a flower of grass. The grass withereth, and flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which, by the gospel, is preached unto you. And I have, I probably won't have time to get to this. And I didn't want to scare you all. If you saw how many pages I have with me <laughs> this morning, you'd be like, Pastor Burns, when are we getting out of here? I'm glad there's a clock up there so I could pay attention to the time. If there's time, I'm going to read these. This is New Testament references to the gospel. Just the word, the guys did a word search for gospel. Over three pages in every single one of these. Gospel and preach. Yeah. Gospel preach. Right. Gospel preach. Yeah. Gospel yeah. preach. Yeah. Gospel yeah. preach. Yeah. Gospel yeah. preach. Yeah. Gospel yeah. preach. Yeah. Gospel preach. Yeah. Gospel yeah. preach. What are we supposed to do with the gospel? We're supposed to preach the gospel. Amen. And, and like I said, I, I'm going to try to blow through all these verses verbally, but I've got just, there's very few verses. I cut out the ones where it's just a reference to the gospel that doesn't reference speaking, preaching, going for, you know, where it's just a reference to the gospel kind of generically, right? As just talking about the gospel. Yeah. Almost every single time in scripture in the New Testament, you see the word gospel, it's tied in the very same verse with it being preached. Preach the gospel, preach the gospel, preach the gospel. Why? Because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to preach. And how do you preach? You open up your mouth and you preach the gospel. Right, yeah. Now, I'm not going to get hung up on the silly, oh, well, what if someone can't hear? What if they're deaf, right? Look, a person with the spirit of God is going to help explain that to them through whatever means of communication you need to do in order to help them understand. But at the end of the day, it's somebody getting involved in showing somebody else the truth 